So the latex belt, uh, this is formed just by using a quarter inch to a half inch lap joint. And if you look close, you can see it there within uh, the lap joint within the belt. And latex is a pretty strong material. Actually, you can even see right here if the camera will pick it up. We have a little tear right there in the latex. And this has been there for quite some time. So you can see actually how strong latex is. Great material for generators. Uh, the type of glue is absolutely imperative that you guys use once again. It has to be Gorilla Super Glue. A lot of the other super glues are going to crack on you and you won't get this permanent bond. Actually, should these, ever, these bonds ever peel off you, just give a little super glue again and that will hold you over for quite some time. All right, so going up to the very top, real quick here, once again, we have our rollers. Uh, this is a PVC roller and I actually might start using Delrin in the future and actually these have a high friction coating on them so they're going to still give the same uh, performance in the end. Uh, looking at the way that everything's connected right here this is actually the insulator for the bottom of the dome and whenever you put this on you want to make sure that if the dome sits right there you want this just to be lifted up just a little bit more so whenever the dome comes down on it it gives a little bit of pressure and you'll even find over a course of time it will even start to press that down just a little bit further if that fits too tight. Uh, next thing if you look at the aluminum uh, support system you're going to see that it stays on the inside of the acrylic tubing and what I had to do is use a little bit of electrical tape to go over the aluminum because as the belt comes up it's going to try to discharge electrons right there so you want to make sure this is insulated very well since the aluminum is on the inside and once again make sure the comb sits about a quarter inch but the closer the better if you can this is an aluminum comb uh, the ones that I'm using now are all brass just as seen at the very bottom here. So brass is an excellent source for the comb. The aluminums, the coppers uh, become just a little bit too brittle over the course of time. And uh, that's pretty much it. Perhaps just a few more things. Uh, these axles may be a little tough to press into. If you want to, uh, what I'll do sometimes when building is I'll use a quarter inch bit and just attach it to a drill and I'll run it through that just to open up that hole a little bit more. If you find that it's too open, just use a two-part epoxy and press that in there. And if you ever screw rollers up too bad, send me a message, say I screwed up my rollers, and uh, give